So to me, the matter of pest control isn't about, you know, when you're going to have pests. It isn't even a matter of what pests you have. It's really a matter of how you're going to deal with pests as you're going forward with your planting journey. Hello, plant friends. Welcome back for another episode. In this one, we are going to talk about pests and bug control um, for indoor jungles or indoor planting environments. So I guess I would say that I have a few plants. A few, several, I have several plants. Some, I have some plants. Yes, let's just say that I have some plants and if you guys have some plants as well and you are keeping them in almost exclusively or exclusively in an indoor environment like I do, you are bound to have some problems with pests and bugs. I remember when I, I was just getting started and I had, you know, I have some plants now, so I had like less than some plants, a few, several plants. and. I remember reading on the Facebook forums and Instagram, um, you know, everyone was just like, oh, I have like, you know, so many pests and bug problems. And, um, you know, like, what do I have here? What do I have there? Like, how do I kill these? And I was just like looking around my place and I didn't have any, you know, pests or bugs. And I was just like, oh, 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 hmm. And then my bugs came. So far, I've had to deal with three major infestations. And the three major infestations I've had are three, you know, three of the most common bugs and pests that you're going to have when you have, you know, plants in your space. The first one I had were fungus gnats. So fungus gnats are these like little flies that, you know, if you see little flies around, you have fungus gnats. And uh, what these little flies do is that, you know, they have eggs and larvae in the soil. And then once those mature, they turn into these little flies that sort of just like go around and, and bug you. You generally, when you're having an infestation, you generally have a ton, like a lot. And they become very, very noticeable. And when you have guests at your place, they also, you know, they notice that you have these little flies uh, flying around your place. I would say it's more of an annoyance than, than pretty much anything else. So when I had that infestation, I had just like tons and tons of little flies or fungus gnats in my place. Uh, my plants were doing fine. So that weren't, you know, the plants weren't affected, but I, I was affected. Okay. So after that one, my second infestation were spider mites. Ooh. Okay. So spider mites, you'll know that you'll have spider mites when you see, you know, spider webs, right? Like it's like strands of spider webs um, around your plants, okay? And, you know, like sometimes you can think like, well, you know, you only see like a few strands, so maybe it's not spider mites. It's actually just like a really, really lazy spider that you're dealing with. No, <laughs> spider mites, rough. They are very, very hard to kill. They are very persistent. <laughs> um, yes, they, they are rough little, little buggers. Mm. Uh, so that was my that was my second infestation. My third infestation were and the well not were is currently the one that I'm dealing with right right now are mealybugs and mealybugs are these like little like white you know you can actually see these on your plants these are little like white fuzz balls they're white they're like fuzzy uh, you can like you know scrape them off with your finger um, or squish the bug you know what what all these infestations sort of like taught me or um, how it changed my perspective and approach to dealing with pests is that, you know, one, you're going to have pests, right? Like if you have an indoor jungle um, with lots of plants or, or some plants, pests are inevitable, right? So that's, that's one. Two is that you're, you're probably throughout your planting journey, you're probably going to have more than one pest, right? You're probably going to have, you know, like, like I did, you know, a, a different major infestations with with different pests right so so that's that's two so so with those two together um my approach to pest control is that it's not it's not when you're going to have pests right because you are right you are going to have pests and two is that it doesn't even really matter what pests it is and i say that is because um 
in theory, the way I approach it is that you either have pests or you don't, right? And the thing is that like some people will, you know, watch other YouTubers or um, read or take advice, right? And then it's always like, you know, figure out what pests you have. And then these are five things you can do to kill this specific pest, right? Or 10 things you can do to, to kill spider mites or 10 things you can do to kill millibugs, right? But the issue is that like, do you really want to learn like 10 things to kill spider mites? And then after you get rid of them, you're going to learn 10 different things to kill millibugs or 10 different things to kill fungal gnats, right? What you really want to do is find how to sort of like treat them all, right? It's like just basic bear, you know, pest control for pests, right? Any pest. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the pest is. You just want pest control for pests. Right. So, so that's what I'm going to show you guys or talk about today. I'm going to tell you guys how to do pest control. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to share with you guys um, how I do it. I know that there are several other ways, um, you know, methods to, to doing it. Um, I've just picked the one that sort of just like worked for all my pests. That's it. And that's what I'm going to share. I've tried other stuff. I've tried like these like sticky sticker pads or whatever. Um, yes, they get rid of some fungus gnats, but the gnats keep coming. So whatever. Um, I've tried Dimaceous Earth. Um, the only thing I have not tried is uh, introducing ladybugs or other bugs into my space to take care of my current bugs. Uh, I have a small space that really wasn't a big uh, thing I wanted to do to introduce bugs I like to get rid of bugs I don't like. Um, that that didn't really make that much sense to me. So what I do is I use chemical insecticides. Yes, they're they're chemicals. Um, I don't think that the health, you know, harm is is as extreme as people think. You know, I think if you have some pesticides on your plants, you're not eating your plants, right? These are not, these are different from pesticides on vegetables where you're actually consuming. Um, you're not eating your plants. Two is that, you know, are these chemically, are these chemicals, you know, if they just get in the air or on your skin a little bit, are they worse than preservatives that we're eating or like fast food stuff? Like, I don't know, right? So that's why I decide, I, I choose to use them. Um, if you have kids, again, I... You know, unless your kids are eating or licking or ingesting your plants, um, then you have other issues and uh, uh, maybe then you may decide not to use these. Um, if you have uh, bugs or if you have pets that eat your plants, um, that might be another consideration that uh, I haven't really looked too much into because I don't, I don't have pets or kids of my own. So I used uh, this one. Right, this one is Azamax. Um, all these are linked in my Amazon Associates thing in the description, as, uh, as well as some other stuff that I use. Azamax, right? So this is what I use. Um, this is, I would say, this is on the more expensive side. It's like $30 to $50 US on Amazon for a, um, what was it, 16 ounce, a 16 ounce uh, container. And what and what I do is that I I just use a a little cupful, um, yeah. Maybe I should use like some uh, something else, but I just kind of like pour it into this little cup, and I put one of these cups uh, per gallon of water when I'm putting it in in water. Or I have a I sort of have like a half gallon uh, little like spray uh, when I spray my plants. We'll talk about that in a bit. I also put um, I also put one cap of this into that spray. This is on the more expensive side of plant stuff that that I get. So you know you know I really stress on this channel you know being cheap, being economical, and um, I know this is a, a bit of a lot, but it does you know it, it does last quite a while, and it really does the job, guys. I mean. It really does the job. I would not be paying so much for, for something like this if it didn't do the job. Um, but uh, I started using this when I got my uh, my fungus gnats. This was really much like the only thing I could figure out how to like kill them. 
Um, so that's when I started putting some of this uh, when I water. And then once I had my uh, spider mites and also my um, my current mealybug infestation, this guy is also you know putting putting in work. Um, this is the the second thing I use. The brand for this one doesn't really count. I would just say that you know in addition to Azimax or an expensive uh, pesticide, I would just choose a cheap generic pesticide. Uh, this is the one I found on Amazon and um, you know it was a it was cheap <laughs> so that's why I got it. So basically you know you use an expensive one you, you know that's like targeted and really good at killing stuff um, and then you I just add a generic one just find a cheap one. So this was a cheap one that I found and uh, and yeah um, this is the one this is the one that I use. And uh, this is the last thing that I use. Uh, this is just a fungicide, right? It kills fungus. So this does not kill bugs or pests, right? It only kills fungus. Pick any one that you like, right? Fung fungus are extremely sensitive to fungicide, right? So they're all pretty much the same. They all pretty much do, they kill fungus, right? They, they do what they need to do. Uh, so just buy the cheapest one and the most readily available one that you can find. Okay, so you don't need to buy this, just buy a fungicide. So what, like, so you're like, oh, Jimmy, you know, we're talking about bugs and pests, like fungus, not really on topic. That's, that's true. This fungicide does not kill any bugs, any pests. But what I do is that I, we'll, 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 we'll talk about this, but anyways, I, uh, for this guy, I also use a capful um, for, for this guy, I also use a capful into whatever watering container I have. I add these things to my watering regimen. So I water every two weeks. And I would say that I add these every one to two months. So the reason why I add them to the soil is that some of these bugs will have either larva or um, eggs in the soil that, that you sort of like want to address. And then the other thing I do is that I will give my all my plants a very thorough misting. And I, when I say misting, I really mean like drenching. I spray the leaves, you know, I, I basically spray as much as I can. Um, and they're, they're literally drenching, right? Like I wouldn't call it misting. I really would call it like drenching. Um, like by the end of it, you'll see water, you know, water will be dripping on my floors because the leaves are, are drenched. That's how I kill the mealybugs and the spider mites and, so, you know, basically any bugs that actually live on the leaves and the stem and stuff, right? So, so when, you're, when you're giving them a, a thorough drenching, um, that's, that helps get into these like the crevices, the space between, you know, the, the stems and the leaves, right? Make sure that you're drenching also the underside of the leaves, like literally like as much as you can, um, try to cover basically all the surface area um, of your plants. I would probably do it once a month if you're fighting a, a really significant infestation. Uh, I would probably do it once every two weeks. So when you're doing that, when you're soaking and drenching your plants, that's why you need the fungicide. What happens is that for a lot of indoor environments, we're really lacking good air circulation. The, the water will tend to stick or stay on the leaves longer. So then you kind of get prone to, to fungus. And what happens is that you can kind of see is when you have these little like, like round spots. Yeah, I would say like yellow spots or black spots, uh, basically just like spots um, in the middle or around the leaves of your plants. So anyway, so I, I really add the fungicide on there as a preventative measure um, you know, in case my air circulation isn't enough and in case the, the water um, is on the leaf uh, for, for too long. So that's why the fungicide is there. And I, I really highly recommend that, guys, because, um, and I really highly recommend the fungicide even if you're just like misting or spraying regularly, if that's something that you like to do and it's something that you, um, you know, do or need to do uh, for your planting environment, I really, really highly recommend adding the fungicide on there. It's, you know, it, 
It's really effective against fungus. It's really not effective against anything else. I mean, I'm sure I can like, I can probably like, you know, take a few gulps of that um, and, and, and probably be fine. Not that I'm, not that I'm going to, but uh, fungicides are very, they're very targeted to fungus and they're not very good at basically killing anything else. So one of the things I want to stress about indoor, you know, pest control is that we really need to focus on prevention, right? Like it's usually like you really need to be proactive about preventing pests rather than reactive. So by the time that you notice, you know, tons of bugs flying around, by the time you notice these little like, you know, tons of strands, like, you know, every, you know, spider smite strands. Um, and, and by the time that you notice that some of your plants are covered in this little like white fuzzy stuff for the millibugs, it probably means that you have a pretty significant infestation. So one is that the more significant inf the infestation or the larger the infestation, the more it's affecting your plants, right? So that's one. And two is that the, the more bugs are there, the harder it is to actually eradicate them uh, or the longer it'll take to eradicate them. So so what I <clears throat> so what I have found is that it's it's way better to or it's way easier for me to do the pesticide you know once every one month to two months in the soil and and also like spray my or drench my plants every one to two months even when I don't notice the bugs right even when they're not like really bothering me. Um, I, I really, and I have a problem with this too, is that I really kind of get lazy. Um, but I've noticed that every single time I've gotten lazy, I've really had to like pay the price. And my plants paid the price for my laziness. You know, when I think about all the stuff that I actually do for the plants, you know, I have like, you know, these light setups, I have to like, you know, I water them, adding some pesticide um, to the, the mix or me taking, you know, some, some time uh, every month or two to like really, really give them a good soaking. It really doesn't take that much more time, right? It's, it's really a minimal effort, minimal cost, minimal time expenditure. So I need to personally do it a lot more often and not slack as much as I do. And for you guys, I really, I really, really recommend, um, recommend at least some pest prevention regimen. In the long run, it's probably much more efficient and better for you know better for you, your sanity, and your plants um, that you have at least some pest control regimen. Right, prevention is is really the key to the game um, because, like I said, one is that pests in your indoor collection is inevitable, and two is that you're generally going to have you know you're gonna have one or two pest infestations at a time or in series or whatever. Um, so pick a pest control uh, or pest prevention regimen or system that actually like targets all, all the pests, right? Uh, if you guys have other methods that were, have worked well for you in the long term, um, you know, put them in the comments below. If you like this video, like and subscribe and, and all that stuff. So, all right, till next time, happy planting.